Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one's going to be on attrition, guys, and it's 112 points gameplay. So I pretty much hope you like this. You can see I've got the pull rank card, I've got the Atlas refurb, and I've got decisive uh, decision or whatever the hell you call it. Decisive action, I believe it is. And this is yet another high ranked gameplay as well. So you can see the G4, G4, G8 on the other team. So we're going to see exactly how we do, guys. I'm not actually going to give a lot away about this. So we're just going to talk you through it as we get through. What I'm doing is I'm going roof side here because I like to go onto the zip line. Unfortunately, I end up falling through. And there we go. We end up on here, so we've got a bit of a slow start, and we're just going to come down the bottom section there, throw two art grenades over into the mix, just in case anybody was attacking that part. And what I'm doing here is I'm just looking around, looking around, and boom, I get taken out. Okay, so we know the camp in the spawn, so we're going to call in the refurb straight away. Um, we're just going to add a lot of damage onto them, guys, and we're going to put a lot of pressure onto them. So come on, let's do it. So as you can see with my Titan, I'm actually using the Atlas so it's a bit more slow moving around but you'll find that it's quite good because you can dash, you can do all sorts and as opposed to the Striders, um, basically Striders might be faster but they're also a little bit weaker and um, you start taking damage from Titans you can find that your Titan goes down a lot quicker and sometimes you can't always escape you can try and escape and you'll end up running into a wall and stuff like that you can see we just killed Tony Hendrix again there and we're just gonna crush these there you go walk over them nice and easy you got a human player in there god knows what he's thinking because he's still staying there um, for some reason he's just hiding in this corner so we know he's there we end up with a rodeo on there so we're gonna bring in the electric smoke rodeo's off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up back up we're just gonna have a scout around where is that where is that and um, yeah we can't see a human player here damage core online so I'm spawns have actually flipped here guys so what I'm doing is I'm going around the other side you can see I end up with yet another rodeo this time of course to disembark and throw two art grenades fortunately he actually stays on the titan on that one so I get a nice easy kill there you can see I've already got one of my deaths that was from the beginning there we go we end up with a human player trying to get the rodeo on there we're just backing off, we're not going to let him get that rodeo. And he ends up shooting from the window, so what we're going to do is come around the backside. There you go, human player, and it's Tony Hendricks again. How many times can I kill this one player? Where are all the other players? There you go, we've got a rodeo on us. D Dog B, he's taking out as much damage as he can get off me, but at the same time, he's staying in that smoke, so we're going to pick up the kill from that one, and then we're going to go onto a crushing spree. As we're going onto the crushing, we see the grunts there, and we're taking out a few grunts along the way. Nice little pack over here, so what we're going to do? Crush. Nice and easy. There you go. No uh, sort of. Like they say, football, no um, chances, no stuff like that. Um, basically, just get it done, do it the quick way, and jobs are good. So all I'm doing is I'm just running around in different circle motions. You can see there's a Titan about to attack me. He's actually using the triple threat, so we're going to back off because that weapon does a hell of a lot of damage if they're quite close to you. And seriously, you do not want to be close range against the triple threat. So we're going to go to an aerial view, there you go. And we're going to let him pick up some damage from our cannon. And we're just going to go around the backside of him on the ground. And we end up with two titans on one. So we're going to call in the smoke just before, because no my titans are going to get taken out. Unfortunately, boom, my nuclear ejection took me out at the same time. Because my Titan actually got taken out by the cluster missile on that one. Chuck two art grenades. As you can see, his shields start going down. We're going to add a bit of damage onto him. There you go. We got a brand new Titan straight away onto that one. Well, virtually straight away, anyway. Unfortunately, I called the Titan in a bit of the wrong position. And there we go. We end up embarking on it. So you can see him on six kills at the minute. 
There we go, we got this Titan, he's on low health, but my shields are actually going down very fast because something else is attacking me and it's actually from behind me, so I'm in a bit of a bad position right now. So I end up using the small screen and I'm just going to back up onto myself, find out what the hell's causing that damage. Got another Titan lock into so this Titan right here, see if how long we can survive against him. Just gonna sort of run away on that one. We do a lot of damage to that Titan, and there we go, we got the new project. So we're just gonna disembark, shut the art grenades down. There you go, we end up taking out a human player from that ejection. And we're gonna add some more damage onto these Titans, because we've got a lot of Titans up at the minute, and that's not what we want. So I'm actually gonna use the decisive action burn card for my next one which is 40 seconds off it's not as good as the full rank but uh, yeah the refurbs are even better if you get those the bro burn cards so you do want to use them when you're against a harder opponent so if you've got an easy game uh, you don't really need to waste those cards you can actually use them in different games that you know that you're going to need them basically okay so you can see 6 to attrition points 9 for 2 and we're on 161 for 22, I'm using the tiny small. It's a nice way of getting away if you're being damaged quite a lot, so I need to retain my shield. I'm just keeping a check on that, making sure no one's following him out. And there you go, we pick up the human kill just by being cautious. Sierra School. Not sure what that name means, but yeah, that's one of the bits. Right, so we've got a Titan over here. We're gonna add some damage onto him. He's gonna take out a lot of damage on me. He's got the triple threat, so we're at range. We've got the advantage. We're just gonna go around here and see if we can pick up that last bit of health. As we crush him, we've got another Titan attacking him. So we're just gonna help him out. There you go. And we end up Titan punching him. So we're gonna crush that brother. End up bringing out our Titan Smoke. And boom, nuclear injection again. Fortunately that one didn't take anything out. But we've got a nice, nice aerial view right now. So we landed in a very good position. You can see that the attrition points will start going up there a bit. It's a bit harder to shoot the grunts and spectres when you're like in this position, but it's a lot easier to take out titans. When they start aiming for you, most of the time most of the titans will actually miss those shots. As you can see there, I end up falling a little bit, so I'm just going to a different position. He had eyes on me though, so I'm not going to challenge that for the minute. Just having a look where he is. There he is. So what we're going to do is we're going to come round. We see this human here, and he's not seeing me, so we're going to drop kick him. Tony Hendricks again. Jesus, man. I actually feel sorry for that guy because I have killed him a hell of a lot of times now. <laughs> there we go. You can see that my titan's been take, uh, called in and we actually had a human player going down there at the minute. So we're in the shield so we don't know what's going to try rodeo on this. The Odyssey just shook up an engine. Not going to be much left to salvage. Now we've got a lot of grunts, a lot of spectres around this area so we're just going to stick around this area, take a few of those out, rack up those attrition points and uh, yeah hopefully we'll get some kills along the way. Do whatever it takes. Hello Mr. Grunts. Do you like to eat bullets? No? How about a stamp on your head? Hoorah! There you go, we take out another human, that was a bug. Right, we got the Titan attacking us. Interesting. So we're going to use the Titan spot while he seems to be coming closer and closer towards us. That takes out his shield, so we know we can get a lot of damage there, but we take out a human player along the way. What I'm doing is I'm actually getting away from this Titan because my shield's down. So, yeah, I didn't really want to be in this position, but there you go. And we're just going to finish it off. We're not going to reject just yet. There you go. We take him out. Now we can eject, but we use this smoke as well little bit of cover for us. Here we go, grunt, grunt. And we know there's a human over here somewhere, so we're just rodeoing over here. We got two humans, oh no. Drop kick that guy, and we get taken out by the second one. Unfortunately, as I went over, that guy did move out of the way, so it was a bit harder to pick up that double kill there. 
see the score there guys, 17 kills for free and I believe that's 112 attrition point of gameplay. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to videos if you like the content. Uh, if there's anything you don't like about the commentary, just feel free to tell me. I know I make a few mistakes from time to time. It is hard getting everything bang on, so please forgive me for that. There you go, we take out another Titan. We try and get the Gooser, but he actually disappeared mid earlier. there. So unfortunately, we're not going to pick up that kill. And we're on 299, so that'll actually finish off the game. We're near no grunts, no spectra, so we're not going to wrap up any more points while we're not near them. There we go, we take out D Dog again. And then we take out Tony Hendricks. Oh my god! It's him again! Seriously, I could not kill one player as much as I killed in this game. Um, I'm not even saying it to be mean or anything, guys. It's just I seem to have killed him for most of the kills throughout this as well. I know we have picked up kills from different players, but yeah, a good chunk of those was from Tony Hendricks. He just seems to be in the open, right in the line of my sight a lot of the times. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm just going to finish it off with a nice little legend fight. There you go, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna bring out the smoke. Just any violence there. Gonna get stuck in that smoke. Chances are that smoke can take him out while they're trying to read back. There we go. And one guy just fell off the edge. So you know what? I'll save you, bro. You fall off the edge, I'll save you. Oh! And enjoy the gameplay, guys. Synergy out.